making cinnamon rolls? What? You gotta learn how to make these. Let's go! Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab yourself a small saucepan. In your saucepan, heat up a half cup of water and a fourth cup of milk. Once your milk and water reach a temperature of about 104 degrees to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, you're gonna add in one teaspoon of sugar along with one packet of the instant yeast, which is about two and one fourth teaspoon. Now we're gonna set this aside for about 10 minutes until it looks foamy and frothy. In a medium bowl, combine two and three fourths cups of all purpose flour along with one teaspoon of salt. Make sure to mix well. Add two tablespoons of melted butter to your yeast mixture. Whisk until well combined. Now, dump everything from your saucepan into a large bowl. Once you have done that, add your egg. Whisk everything until well combined. Add in some of your flour. Mix with a wooden spoon because it will soon turn very clumpy. Once the majority of your flour is combined, we're gonna be adding even more. Mix well. Now, this is the perfect time to add your food coloring to make it look pink. Now, once your dough has been kneading for eight to 10 minutes, spray a large bowl with pan and let it rest for one hour. Already, it has been about an hour and I have taken the dough out and it looks like it hasn't really risen at all. What a fail. This means that the yeast wasn't really active. It was either old or something like that. And yeah, it never really activated. So then the dough never rose up, you know. So if that ever happens, do it again. But we have no more yeast. So I'm going to see how this turns out. But before we roll this out, we have to make the cinnamon and sugar stuff that goes inside of the dough. So, yeah. Let's see, let's just see how this turns out. I mean, I can already tell that it's not gonna turn out the way I really want it. But, who cares? I'm still making cinnamon rolls. In a small bowl, mix together two thirds cups of brown sugar, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it all until well combined. Alrighty, time to roll out the dough. Dust your surface with a little flour and your rolling pin. We don't want this to stick. Let's roll this out. So what you're gonna wanna use is something like this because we have softened butter, not melted butter, but it's really soft. Layer it on so that our cinnamon and brown sugar mixture kind of sticks to our dough. Take some of your cinnamon sugar mixture and sprinkle it on. Now, we're gonna roll up the dough, but make sure it is super tight. Now, get yourself a knife and we're gonna cut this into 12 rolls. This pan is uh, way too big, so we're gonna be using something like this. Hopefully it works better. This is uh, smaller, so it should work. So uh, we have a pan here that has been sprayed with cooking oil, and now we're gonna place our cinnamon rolls into our pan. So now we're gonna be putting this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. I cannot wait to try them. They're gonna be so good. Now it's time to take out the cinnamon rolls. We're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes, and while it is resting, we're gonna make the frosting to go over the top as a glaze. It's gonna be so good. In a small bowl, we're gonna combine one and a half cups of powdered sugar, one fourth cup of butter, and two to three tablespoons of milk. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it until well combined, and it gets to the consistency you want it to be. Now. Once you have the consistency you want of your frosting, we're going to be pouring it over our cinnamon rolls. Oh, it tastes so good! Oh, the frosting is delicious! Mmm. So good.